Hey guys, welcome to uh, Trending Reviews. My name is Uma uh, and today I'm going to be uh, showing you my new Google Pixel 2 XL uh, and I'm going to give you a comparison with my Samsung S8 Plus. Um, so I've been using the uh, Google Pixel for about five days now uh, and I just wanted to give you an overview uh, of how I can compare this with the uh, camera, video and audio quality uh, as compared to my Samsung S8 Plus. Uh, so let's have a look and um, let me know what you guys think and we'll get straight into it. Okay guys, so let's have a look at this first picture. So uh, I went to the local park uh, and I took a picture of the, uh, the hills um, and some of the uh, architecture that is there. So this landscape picture, uh, the left one, as you can see on the Google Pixel 2, um, compared to the one on the right with the uh, Samsung S8, um, to me it seems like the uh, S8 has uh, a little bit uh, over the edge with the uh, quality here. Um, but just to let you know, the pictures that I have on the uh, S8 Plus um, are turned on with the HDR mode, so it does enhance the pictures a bit more. However, the one on the Google Pixel, you can see a bit more of the sky. Um, so you see more of the natural blue shining through some of the clouds there. Um, everything else seems to be uh, pretty much almost the same. This next picture uh, is of a little seesaw. Um, and again, on the left hand side, uh, it's a little bit more vibrant, I guess, um, except the one on the right hand side with, for the S8 Plus, to me is a little bit sharper um, but again this is not the best uh, image to tell um, as we go into having a look at some of the uh, different lighting effects now this next one uh, is one I've aimed directly at the Sun uh, shining through the clouds now is a little bit of a variation in the color scheme here so the one on the Google pixel you can see a little bit more of a, a sepia kind of filter um, coming through with the sun shining through those clouds. The one on the right uh, for the Samsung, it seems to be a little bit more natural. Uh, I see more of the blue in the sky, um, whereas I see a very tiny faint part of the, the blue sky on the Google Pixel. Um, however, having said that, I see more of the grass on the Google Pixel uh, than on the S8 Plus. You see more of the shadows and the darkness. Um, some of the houses are a bit more visible as well on the, on the pixel. Next picture, um, I actually managed to catch um, a bird flying past as well, if you can notice there. Um, however, the qualities are pretty much aligned here. Um, I think the, the blue sky is uh, almost on point in both pictures. Um, you can you zoom in and, and get the same quality for each of the, uh, the views from this, from this angle. Um, both phones I took pictures in uh, 16 by 9 ratio at the highest megapixel that the phone offers. Uh, so now I'm going to show you uh, a couple of videos um, and I have the um, uh, optical image stabilization on for each of them um, and let's see how they look. So judging by the uh, Google Pixel it's starting off a little bit more steady. I can see that the Samsung is equally a bit more steady coming down the hill. Um, overall, it seems like to me the Pixel slightly is a little bit more uh, steady on the video. Um, but again, let's have a look at uh, another video later on. Now, just having a look at the um, uh, portrait modes versus the uh, selective focus mode on the Samsung 8. So from the front selfie mode on the Samsung 8 on the right hand side there, um, you can see a bit of the blurring around my glasses on the left hand side um, and a tiny bit of my hat. Whereas the one on the uh, pixel uh, on the left there, you can see that it's managed to gather the, uh, the lines perfectly around the shape of my head, the glasses, uh, the cap, um, and blurred the background uh, pretty well actually. Um, so that definitely goes uh, to the Google Pixel for a plus point there. So moving on, a um, couple of more uh, images I took just walking through. Um, you can have a comparison, see what you think stands out a little bit more. Um, I tried to take one in different scenarios with uh, trees in the way of the sky, um, places where there's a little bit more shadow. 
um, and you can see the vibrance in the water for example in the pond here um, I also did a portrait mode versus selective focus mode on, on a leaf uh, in the bushes here I think the pixel picked it up a little bit better because in the Samsung S8 you can see that the selective focus uh, runs out a tiny bit on the right hand side um, on, on the corner there um, however it's almost similar to the Pixel, um, but both very good quality. Uh, now, here's a uh, selfie pic uh, with the sun in the background. Um, I can see that the uh, Pixel wins here because you can see a lot more vibrance and the higher quality um, in the face as well, uh, whereas it's way too bright in the Samsung S8. Uh, and you can see the sky in the background is, is almost white. Whereas in the Pixel, you can see that actually the blue shining through as well. So the front and the front camera is actually doing really well there. Now going back to uh, the videos. Now here's me just running down a path, just to check the uh, stabilization. So you can see from there the S8 starts jolting a little bit more. Uh, now I can see the Pixel is jerking a bit more than the S8. It's not as quiet as uh, smooth as I initially thought it was going to be uh, when I first got the Google Pixel. Um, now if I'm being honest, I think there's not a massive amount of difference in, in uh, the image stabilization for both phones. I think they both do a really good job. Um, but it all depends on the type of activity you're doing uh, to utilize that as well. So moving on, um, I'm gonna take some, uh, show you some indoor uh, pictures I took. So this is of a, uh, a plant um, with some lighting that I have in my house. Um, now, just to see the colouring, um, I think the Samsung S8 stands out a little bit more vibrant in there, um, whereas the, the Pixel seems like more natural colours. Um, but again, remember I did have the HDR mode on on the Samsung S8. Uh, the next picture shows my TV screen uh, with uh, Philips uh, LED lighting behind the screen. Um, now the pixel stands out uh, much more in this because it brings out the the vibrance in the actual lighting um, from behind the TV which you can see shining on the walls and uh, now this picture uh, is um, when the Sun has uh, completely set um, it's a cloudy day from my back garden I can see the sky in the Google pixel is a lot darker uh, with the blue tint uh, whereas on the S8 you see uh, the clouds are uh, completely grey um, now, I think the S8 wins on this one. I think that's what more realistically um, it looks like uh, when I took this photo. Um, so it depends on low lighting, the conditions um, and the mode that your phone is on. Um, but the S8 wins on that, on that front. Uh, again, this is a shot of uh, the street in front of my house. Um, and I think for me, naturally, it looks like the S8 has got a better photo on this one. Um, the Pixel has a bit of a, uh, a greenish tint to it, um, but overall not too far off from each other. Um, here's one of a tree. Uh, now this is a, a big difference in this one. Um, with the Pixel, most of the tree is hidden in darkness. Um, this was completely at night, at night time. Um, the only light that you see there is coming from our lampposts. Um, and on the Samsung S8 there on the right, you can see uh, pretty much all of the tree with the uh, brightness uh, coming down from uh, underneath. It looks more natural um, and, and displays more of a real life scenario. Okay, so let's have a listen to uh, some of the uh, audio recordings uh, from uh, each of the phones. Um, I used a voice recorder app uh, on both the Pixel and the uh, S8 Plus uh, and let's see how they both came out. So let's start off with the uh, Google Pixel uh, audio recording first. Okay guys, so this is the uh, Google Pixel 2 XL uh, audio recording. Uh, I'm using a voice recorder app uh, to record this uh, piece of audio. Um, now it's been reported um, quite a lot online by Pixel users, um, specifically on Google forums, that the Pixel 2 XL uh, audio recording quality is a little bit high pitched and distorted. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments below uh, on the audio quality here, uh, and we can compare this um, with the Samsung uh, S8 Plus. 
Okay, so now let's have a listen to the uh, uh, S8 Plus audio recording. Um, I use a very similar uh, voice recording app um, and I've recorded it at the same distance um, from my mouth to the phone. And um, so the comparison has to be pretty much exact, um, but let's see how the results came up. Okay, so this is a audio test on the Samsung S8 Plus. Um, I've seen a lot of uh, uh, good positive reviews online um, for Samsung's video recording, um, but equally there's been uh, some positive feedback on the audio recording quality um, on the Galaxy phones. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments below um, if you think this quality compared to the uh, Google Pixel 2 uh, is a lot better. Um, or if you think you prefer the Pixel 2, then uh, do let me know. Um, but this is a good comparison just to see the difference using a uh, voice recorder app. As you can see, even just from the waveforms right there, um, the S8 wins by far. Um, and I know that a lot of people have reported uh, on the Pixel audio quality in general, um, being poor and high pitched and, and that kind of stuff. So um, the S8 quality uh, is far beyond uh, the one that Pixel can do at the moment, uh, which is a real shame because um, I was hoping the audio would be a little bit better by Google, um, but unfortunately they haven't gone that way. Um, but uh, the essay quality is more vibrant, um, it stands out a bit more um, and you know you can uh, compare very easily um, with one of the top end phones out there um, in terms of audio. So uh, unfortunately the S8 Plus uh, wins on that part um, but I did have high expectations uh, for the Google phone, uh, unfortunately that didn't happen but Hopefully we can see in the future um, some better updates by Google um, on the actual audio. Overall, um, if I have to hand it to one of them, um, it would most likely have to go to um, the Google Pixel, I think, because um, the portrait mode is, is a lot better uh, than the selective focus. That's one of the reasons why I got the Google Pixel. Um, and generally the quality is almost on par. I mean these two phones are, in my opinion, the phones which have got the best cameras out there today. Um, so uh, I think overall the camera would win on the Google Pixel. The HDR sometimes will take better quality pictures on the Samsung S8. Um, but again, that's your opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, if you've had both of these phones, uh, which one do you prefer? Um, and which one has the better video quality, image stabilization, image stabilization and so on. So thanks for watching guys. I hope that was useful um, and hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you at the next video.